Hello and welcome. My name is Etuna. Mommy, stop disturbing me. Hello and welcome to my tube. My name is Sonia. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for always clicking on that button. Thank you for giving my channel a chance. Thank you for always, like, you know, rendering your support. Even just that one click, guys, I do appreciate. Now, towards the end of the video, if you do like my content, please do not forget to like, comment, uh, subscribe, and share this video with all of your friends. All right, of the October series, which is basically... Um, I'll be posting every second day including including Sunday and Monday because I see people get a bit confused when I say every second day so I basically mean Sunday Monday Wednesday um, Friday okay so I'm gonna be giving you four videos a week and I'm gonna gi be giving you like a positive word or a word that basically just for you to ponder on that day and any other day all right so today about guys, comfort Okay. we're talking about comfort comfort is that one word that we would like to hear every time especially when we are going through difficult Mommy, times is um it's the Wait. comfort is that is that one word that we would actually we 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 yearn to hear especially when we are going through difficult times or going through times of uncertainty okay now comfort mm. is is the feeling of knowing that somebody cares somebody is there for you and somebody is carrying your burden for, with you and for you you understand now the only comfort that i truly <laughs> that i truly understand is the comfort of the holy spirit all right we also do have obviously the comfort of our family members the comfort of our loved ones the comfort of of you know even the comfort of the things of this world child but if i can tell you that the comfort the true and the one true and lasting comfort is the comfort from the holy spirit in the bible I, uh, jesus say that i'm i'm gonna go right but i will not leave you comfortless i'm going to leave you another comforter like i will not leave you um as orphans i'm gonna uh, i mean i'm gonna go and then um a, a com another comforter you know alas prakletos hey guys i'm spicing up my greek a little bit he basically said the alas prakletos is gonna come so that he can comfort you another one of the same kind you understand so jesus christ has sent the holy spirit which is himself okay to comfort us all right now i'm now here trying to define comfort but comfort on it in on its own okay so comfort can also be attributed to peace. Comfort can also be attributed to that rest that you feel that even though I'm going through uncertain times or even though I'm going through times that I am not really sure, you know that you know that there's somebody else that is carrying your burden for you and with you, all right? Um, there are so many tragedies are... Tra hey, English will not give me today, yo. <laughs> There's so many the world, you know, and around us, and and even among us that is hap that are happening, and every time when God says that, do not worry, do not give this attention, or do not, do not actually give it so much thought, is because He knows that He is comforting us. Okay. Now, in terms of physical comfort, let me say, for example, your bed is a source of comfort, like. Every day that you go to sleep or every night when you lay your head to, to, um, to rest, you know that actually um, you are comforted by that pillow, by that uh, blanket, by that mattress and stuff like that. Obviously, with the places where we sleep are not the same, okay? But sometimes you may also just be like comfortable in your car. When you go drive, you see like, you know, you have all the buttons, you are pressing whatever. Or even just maybe in your neighborhood or even just your home itself where you live you are comforted there because you know that you you are at peace and you are secure you understand so that is basically comfort in my definition and in my understanding all right so go out there today and know that you are comforted by the holy spirit it doesn't matter what you are going through it doesn't matter where you have been or how long you have been there just know that the holy spirit is comforting you can comfort you actually if you let him all right um and also try to comfort other people as much as you can okay 
try to comfort other people as much as you can even just that being kind being kind is very comforting it doesn't take a lot but being kind is very comforting because we may never know what other people are going through okay so be comforted to, to com be comforted today if you are the one who needs comfort be comforted if you are the one who needs to give out comfort please do it okay and it is very 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 much free now i would like to leave you um with two scriptures one is taken from um, isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 and another one is taken from the book of john 16 verse 33 i remember when I, I i lost my dad and my uncle you know most of the people that i have lost in my lives i have always linked on to john 16 33 and i can even you know say it from the top of my head you know it's like in this world you have tribulations but jesus said be of good cheer you know i have overcome the world it's very very comforting that scripture is very 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 comforting now guys thank you so so much for watching this video please do not forget to like comment share subscribe and you know join the vlogtober series like maybe you are now in the middle you know contemplating you are a content creator you are contemplating should i go on the vlogtober series should i not tell you what if you want to do it do it if you don't want to do it it's okay it's okay you know but it's actually very very nice to do this series because i also get to learn and i also get to have like that discipline where i can actually get up every day go out to a location like now i'm sitting in a river bed somewhere in in my city in my city you know somewhere in a river bed and i'm just you know also enjoying the nature of god and and, and 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 just you know being comforted being comforted you know nature itself is also very very comforting today we are going to talk about dominion it, it's going to be the last day of the week you know and we're going to talk about dominion so see you there and come in full force so that we can learn together what dominion is all about all right bye bye guys